things. Now, from an agility perspective, I do want to be realistic here because there are some kinds of investments we're going to want to make where we want to lay what is called architectural runway to be able to say we're going to make a big investment up front and that way we're going to have economies of scale in actually deploying it, having a platform to build software products and coding on top of it. Something like it's kind of, it used to be, the classic example is an ERP, right? It's like SAP, right? Mm -hmm. Or or ServiceNow in the in the case of an IT, um, in IT service management solution, strategic portfolio management solution. It does a lot of things these days, right? And if you're going to commit to the platform, it's going to have it has some major investment in training of people and getting configured and, and that kind of stuff up front. Sometimes it makes sense to centralize those decisions and say we're going to we're going to commit to this because it's it's we're, it's lower risk it, for the kind of business that we're doing for the kind of requirements we have for the kind of objectives we have the key results we're looking for makes sense mm -hmm. when possible we want to think about those especially software as a service cloud based solutions that allow us to try a little bit learn and say okay we're going to do a little bit more. Um, services, a, a good example of, of a company that's done well with this is Atlassian. Uh, all of their products, Jira, Confluence, you can buy over the web and do subscriptions to them. If you can do subscription-based pricing, well, you can try something out, scale it up to 100 people, five teams, see how it does when it scales up. If it doesn't, we can pick something else. That's the, that's the yeah. beauty of those kind of software as a service-based solutions.